Yoda, I'm Mel from The Recreators. In this video, I'll show you step by step how to make your very own mouse toy. These are the fabric cutouts you will need. Two body sides, one base, two buttons, a pair of ears, three fabric strips, a small bundle of wool and stuffing. Or you can use shredded fabric from old clothes. So the first thing we will need to do is plait the tail. You want to secure the three fabric strips together by knotting one end. It helps to have the knotted end attached to something while you plait. If it's your first time plaiting, it's very easy. The trick is to bring the far left strip in between the middle of the other two strips, then the far right strip in between the other two strips. Keep repeating this until you've run out of fabric and secure with a knot. The next step is to sew one button onto each of the body sides, where indicated with a dot. Sew over a couple of times to secure the buttons to the body sides. This is the method I use to make a knot when ending a stitch. You put the needle through the fabric halfway and wrap the thread around it two to three times before pulling the thread tight. Step number three, you want to fold your ears in half and slot them through the slits located above the eyes. Make sure that the ears are facing the correct way as shown in the video. You want to sew along the four layers of fabric using small stitches. Repeat steps again for the second ear. Place the two body sides, right sides facing together and sandwich the tail in between with the knot sticking slightly out. Pin the pieces all together. You want to do a small running stitch from the nose to the tail. Take a look at the technique I am using for the running stitch. Once you have become more confident at sewing, you can try weaving the needle through the fabric a couple of times before pulling the thread. Look at how I'm controlling the needle. I push the needle through the fabric and pull it back slightly to adjust the stitch I want to create. Make sure to go over the tail a couple of times to secure it in place. Now open up the body sides and align the edges to the edge of the base. Start at the point of the nose and make your way down the body. Tuck the tail inside the body and pin in place. Start by sewing from one notch to the other notch, making sure to leave that gap at the back for stuffing. Flip the mouse inside out to reveal the tail, eyes and ears. Stuff the mouse until it's full. We will close up the gap with an invisible stitch. Tuck the fabric in slightly and make one stitch along the edge of the body side. Then cross over and do one stitch on the base. Keep crossing over until you have reached the middle. When you pull on the thread, the gap should close up and the fabric will bundle a little. Stretch it out and continue closing up the rest of the gap with the invisible stitch. Once you have reached the end, secure your stitches with a knot. Now the last step is to attach the whiskers to the nose with a couple of stitches. Then you want to cut the closed loops on the wall. Now that you've completed your mouse toy, you can name it and display it in your home proudly. Thanks for watching the Recreators video. Please like and subscribe and follow us on Facebook.